Here's how to take input from a flash served HTML form and use the form inputs to send an email in Python. Let's start by pip installing Flask and Flask Mail. Next, let's set up our files. We need a Python script called app and two HTML files, a form and a result page. Let's create a templates folder for our HTML pages so that we can use the Flask render template function to serve our HTML files. In our Python script, let's import flask, render template, and request from our flask library, along with mail and message from our flask mail library. Next, we'll initialize our flask and mail class. Now we need to configure a few variables for our mail server. We'll need to configure the mail server, the mail port, the username, the password, and whether we want to use SSL. I'll be using a Gmail account I created for this video. So I'll go through the Gmail's SMTP server, and I'll use Gmail's default SMTP port, which is 465. If you decide to use something other than Gmail, that port number could be different. I'll use my newly created Gmail account and set the password. Before you try to hack me, let me save you some time and say that I've already deleted this email account, and I have never and will never use this password for anything else. Next, let's make sure we enable SSL and update the mail variable with the new configurations. Now we're ready to create our first route. For this route, I'll just use the render template function to return our form HTML page. We'll set the HTML page up in just a moment. Next, we need to create a route for our form to post to. So make sure to enable the post method for this route. Let's write an if statement that checks if the request type is post, which if so, we will format the input given by the user into an email. To do this, let's create a message variable. In our form, we'll have a few different values, a name value, a subject value, and an email value. Let's add our subject field from our request using the form.get function. Set the sender to the Flask server's email address. And lastly, we will set the recipients to the email supplied in the form. I'll add some static text to the body of our email and then send our email using the mail.send function, which will take our message we just created and send it through the email account we configured at the beginning. Next, let's return the HTML web page result, adding the value success to the page after the email has been sent. Then I'll finish the if statement with an else route that sends the result HTML page with the value failure. The last thing we need to do in this file is run our Flask app when called with the default parameters. Now let's create our form and result HTML pages. I'll create a simple form with three inputs and a submit button. Make sure to set the name value of each of our form inputs to the same value we set in our form.get function parameter.
To create the result page, all we need to do is pipe in the value supplied from our result variable in the render template function. The last thing we need to do is go into our Gmail account settings and under security, enable third-party login. For this reason, I strongly suggest creating an independent email account. Open your email, navigate to settings, and turn on the less secure sign-in option. Now let's start our Flask server and test our application. I'll add a name, subject, and send the email to myself. Upon submission, I'm redirected to the result page, and we can see that the success value was given. Now I'll double check my email, and as you can see, I do in fact have the email we just sent. This is a super basic implementation, so I strongly suggest setting up input validation before using this in a production environment. This was a subscriber requested tutorial. If there's a tutorial you'd like to see, make sure you subscribe to the channel and leave your suggestions in the comments below.